Hi, I'll be explaining how to create new scenery for OpenSearch. The scenery of a level is put together using elements known as bricks. When we create several bricks that share a common theme, we say that we create a brick set. For example, level Sunshine Paradise has its own brick set. Some people call it a tile set, but that terminology is not quite correct. In OpenSearch, we call them brick sets, because there are some differences. In a nutshell, brick sets are more flexible. In order to create a brick set, you need an image editor. I'll be using GIMP, which is an open source image editor suitable for pixel art and for many other things. You're free to use any image editor you like. An important part of a brick set is the art. I'll be using some free art from opengamearts.org. Look how beautiful this is. In my opinion, it's beautiful. This image is created by an artist whose nickname is Cert, and we're going to use it to create a brick set. The brick set system of OpenSearch is very flexible, but in this video, we're going to abide by some conventions to make things easy. One such convention is we're always going to use a 16 by 16 grid when designing the bricks. I'll enable a 16 by 16 grid on GIMP. Take a look at how the image is already aligned to the grid. Now we're going to create our first brick by taking some pieces of the image. Let's create a new image of 128 by 128 pixels. This is yet another convention. While this size is not mandatory, the engine can handle bricks of different sizes, we're going to abide by this convention anyway. Again, I'm going to enable a 16 by 16 grid on this new image. Our first brick will be a solid brick. Let me show you. That's it, it seems good enough. Now we should save the file. I'll be saving it to a folder called My Brick Set. That folder doesn't exist by default, so we need to create it. First things first, open the folder of the engine, go to Images, and create a new folder called My Game. Inside that folder, Create yet a new folder called My Brick Set. OK? Now let's save our brick art as brick001.png. Good. Now we need a collision mask. A collision mask is an image that tells the engine which pixels of the brick are solid and which pixels aren't. Let's create a new image of 128 by 128 pixels. We use black to represent a solid pixel and transparent to represent a pixel that is not solid, again as a convention. Since we want our brick to be entirely solid, we're going to make our collision mask entirely black. And now we're going to save this file as mask001.png. Good, so our folder has two files in it, brick001.png and mask001.png. In the next video, we're going to learn how to import this brick into the engine. See you soon!